What is up, Kickstarter? We're back. Woo! <laughs> this time we are back with a whole lineup of new gear, introducing Moment Travel Wear, bags for your new workplace. Gone are the days of just skipping down to the office. We are now packing up everything with us and working wherever we can. From parks, cars, back porches, kitchens, bathrooms, garages, and campgrounds, we have made new gear for your new office. So what kind of bags did we make? We made a backpack in two sizes so it'll fit anybody. We made a nice over-the-shoulder tote bag, a tech organizer, a mini tech organizer, a battery organizer, and lastly, a lovely camera insert. We are going to keep you so organized in a year of a lot of unorganized chaos. Or at least we'll try. So why are we making bags? Well, to be honest, we couldn't find a minimal, non-teched out backpack that still held our tech, uh, was comfortable, and fit everybody. Even me. Even her. This is not a camera bag. This is a bag for any creator, no matter what you do. Imagine your parents' old Jansport backpack, but with a few modern upgrades. Cables, laptops, headphones, chargers, cameras, snacks, diapers, sunscreen, whatever you want to fit in this bag, it will look classy doing it. All right, so you know, <clears throat> all right, so you know what to do. The campaign is now live, so head on over there before the early bird pricing is gone. We have some creatives that are showing up. We're gonna show them the bags, walk them through it, get their feedback. How many LaCroix, cans of LaCroix do you think this can fit? 11, 12. And we're also gonna talk to our designers and get all those details, all that you know, heart and soul they've poured into these bags. They've been grinding on these for about a year, and we're just gonna learn more. So stay tuned, and by that, I mean, let's keep going with this video. Let's keep watching. Kickstarter, we're back. <laughs> All right, our first creator is here. Come over and check out what we have. Curious what you think. I like that it feels really durable. So like if I am stuffing it, I don't feel like I'm gonna break it or damage it like I would a leather bag. I like the um, water bottle compartments. Those are really nice. How much water do you drink a day? A lot. I like how the there's no stitch seams and it's pretty. This is an important pocket for sure. Ooh, this pocket. Doesn't seem to be there, but it's there. Wasn't expecting more pockets in there, and there's even more pockets in here. Also, I like the sturdy back to keep the laptop stiff. Uh -huh. My bag is, my bag doesn't have any support, so it just turns into like a, a puddle. Yeah. Definitely travel with a camera, but I'm not a photographer by any means, so. But I would still see myself probably. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> sure, sure, sure. Slap a filter on and you, you know. In one word, how would you describe the backpack? Um, I would say smart. Versatile. Minimal. How many LaCroix, how many cans of LaCroix do you think the 21 liter can fit? 24. 16. 24? There you go. That is, <laughs> <laughs> that's 37. Oh, wow. For all your parties that no one's going to right now. Yeah, exactly. Perfect to drink by yourself. Oh yeah, let me pull up my, let me pull up my clock. All right, are you nervous? Yes. All right, next contestant, Ilya is up. How are you feeling right now? A little bit nervous, but also confident. Humble, but ready to rip. You have one minute to pack this bag as best as you can, and then you're gonna be scored on it by Joel, who's one of our designers. Appropriate. So, uh, official clock here. Any last words? No. Items are here, 17 liter moment backpack. Ready, set, go. Also starting with the laptop first. 
I think that's a great technique. Okay, notebook and power supply. He's in the very front pocket. Nice. 16 inch laptop slides right in. Nicely done. Taking the battery charger. Ooh, together in the hair scrunchie. He's kind of going for the handful technique, which I, I like. He's getting stuff off the table and packed. All right, we're going for that front divider. Nice, with the wireless charger. Make sure you grab that. Using the pen organizers, very nice. We're at 30 seconds right now. Sunscreen, oh, going in the water bottle holder with the sunscreen. It is August, people. Oh, and using the water bottle in there. We got the pens. Oh, these pens are taking a while. Hand sanitizer, crucial. Using the key clip, killing it. Oh, he's got everything in the front. You're gonna be like top heavy on this bag. Five. Oh, the sunscreen's going in the water bottle pocket. Last second. What does she got? Nail polish. Oh my and hand. That One is minute. Time. Stop. You can zip up the rest. You did great. I tried. Nicely done. <laughs> Nothing in the main pocket. Sunscreen in the water bottle pocket. Creativity. <laughs> Eight out of ten. Wow. Very nice. All right, that feels fair. <laughs> yeah. Be gentle. <laughs> All right. Ooh, nicely done with the laptop pocket. Appropriate. Whew, it's a mess. Very honest. I like that. I was under pressure, so. I'm gonna go eight out of 10 for honesty. I'm impressed, let's get the judge over here. Good job. Thank you. 10 out of 10. <laughs> he didn't even need to see. Let's go ahead. Can you put that on? Let's see how that would look fully packed and head into, head into your living room. How's that feel, fully packed? Great. You heard it here first. Excellent job, Ilya and Eric and Dylan. Thank you guys for all playing the packing game. Welcome to the design studio. All right, Steven, so here is the backpack. Uh, can you walk us through it and give us just kind of like a general overview? General overview. This is a backpack. In case you haven't seen one before, this is what they look like. We have a very basic silhouette. Think like Jansport, right? We've got a Jansport silhouette, but with like technical details. It's got these cool Nifco sternum straps you see there, it's got this, this rail, and it, it just pops right on. That's nice. Click, oh my gosh. I always like to explore the back panel like this. Oh, nice. Yeah, so if you travel, if you're a big time traveler, we got your luggage loop, right? You gotta have the luggage loop. Spacer mesh down the middle, and it's got this ridgy EVA foam. You ever get those bags where you put on, it's like you go to REI and you put it on your back and it's just like, you feel it, it's like a shark trying to bite your back. We didn't want the shark. It's to help create your airflow, airflow, air. So when you have just flat padding, yeah. it like sits on your back. You get sweaty back. Sweaty back. Yeah. And like, this doesn't stop sweaty back. It just helps. We've got some nice aluminum hardware down here. Black aluminum. And they slide nicely, but the cool thing I mean, the nice thing is they just don't slip, right? Yeah. Ugh, put all the weight. Yeah. Put it all. Oh. Put it all. That's kind of the back panel. Is this the same as this? That's the same. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So you've got some really nice padding in here. It's like soft. Yeah, very comfortable. But it's not like smashy soft. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about? Like a Jansport, you get smashy soft. Yeah. And then it's like your things get twisted and it's smashy. So check this out. Front silhouette, classic. Classic. classic and you've got this double folded webbing right so it's like thick it's tactile it feels nice but also you're not like fighting to get it's not flat right, right. it's just like Look at that. first try so like the, the the height of the torso super important you're super tall like eight foot five no problem this bag fits you you're short like three foot two no problem that would be me this one fits you We'll put them side by side. Yeah. Dude, it's so hot in here. So it's like the same backpack and the same feature set, but you've got added height. Mm. This is for your smaller torso individuals. This is for your bigger torso. And if you're a medium torso like me, you're kind of like 
Best of both worlds, Gucci, living it all, the dream. Water resistant zip. Do you hear that? It sounded sick. Okay, so this is your, it's got a nice laptop sleeve. So you've got like this harder padding on the back because you don't want it to be too soft on the back. But then you've got like this light padding here. So you got this double padding side, nice firm structure. So you're not bending your laptop in half, or at least it's, you're not really gonna, but like you feel like you're gonna, right? You're like, you get a backpack and you're like, oh, just, it's, it's packed full and you can feel the laptop and you're just like, the tension. This is where I like to stick like papas, pa papas. This, really you could put anything, Kit Kat bars, Ooh. juicy juices. Yeah. Just shut up. <laughs> Crayons. Crayons. Really, you're looking at this at your immediate use stuff. Like you're going to a coffee shop, you put the bag down, what do you do? You grab your laptop and your mother's love notes. Right. And then you bring out your charger. Or your pen. And your pen. These are the sickest YKKs they got on the market. The sickest. Racket coil, RC, water resistant, aqua guard. RC racket coil, aqua guard. You've got this main compartment. You open that sucker up, it's like shucking a, an oyster. Pop it open, mm. scoop it out. So we left this primarily open. This is your like, your catch-all, your big bag, the freak zone. That's what we call this, the freak zone. We did this because we love organizers. So the only thing you got in here is this front zip pocket for lollipops and a Game Boy. Game Boy's a thing anymore? They're, They're still sick. They're still Caleb sick. knows. You just unzip the top and you got the access there. It's like, it's just there. This would be great for hard it's... drives. Or lollipops. Or lollipops. Right there. Now let's turn this puppy inside out so you get a real good idea of what's going on in oh, here. Wow. Because what we've done here is we've made this, you see how it kind of sticks out a little? It little sticks out a little? Oh yeah. This is extra. Earth. You know when you have your bag full and you have your laptop in there, but it's like really just pushing. Well, the worst thing is when you pack your backpack and you're like, oh, my laptop, and then your laptop. Oh, yeah, yeah. You're trying to sh so full already. shove yeah, it. Yeah yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 totally. Yeah, I do that all the time. Not anymore. No. I mean, I'm sure that would still happen, but like <laughs> more, more. Well, we tried. More. Anyways, next. <laughs> All right, so then you have these attachments here. You've got these little dangly bits. Technical name, dangly bits. Dose dangly bits oh. on dose cord loops. Love it. This is how you install it. And then you turn it inside out. I'm just kidding. You install it when it's not inside out. See how it takes up half the space? So now you can fit other things yeah. around. Because this is not a camera bag, we wanted, we still wanted you to be able to carry your camera things because we know it's important. So the dope thing now is you can easy swipe. Beow. It's like a dance move. Beow. Yeah. Do, 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 do. All right, so then you've got straight access into the large compartment for punching. All right, in here, you've got a key clip. Why? Because one day a friend of mine said, I'll never buy a bag without a key clip. So we just make sure it's in all of our bags. You want to got some sunglasses? There you go. Oh my God. So you got your sunglasses that go in your sunglass pocket. Keep it high. Keep it high and tight. Not like the Marines. Oh, so your sunglasses are right up top. Right up top. I love that. I mean, like if you run into a steel pole backwards, might be in trouble. Yeah. Generally though. Gonna be okay. Gonna be all right. Yeah. This is just mm, extra security. If you want to carry your passport back there, you can. If you want to carry, what's something that's really important that you don't want anyone touching? Yeah, like cash, passport, Photo wallet. of your great grandma. Photo of your great grandma. But notice, this sucker, it doesn't go to the bottom of the bag. Why? Because when you generally put things in the front, what happens? They fall to the bottom. Mm -hmm. But if this fell to the bottom, and this fell to the bottom, you'd have a big old jungle fest. Right. I was, in, I was in Vietnam, we were, we were running samples on this bag and it didn't have that organization in the front. And I remember I was like, dude, this side access is sick. And I was like, oh, my wallet and like all my things are just loose. Hang. Yeah, where are they? Right. And two pen holders, 
and then two larger pockets. I would call those four inch pockets, 100 millimeter pockets, international folk. Now, we've got this nice bonded fabric. Take a piece of paper, throw down some glue. Bond. Without the bond, it's like <laughs> nasty. So that's what we got there around both the zippers. That means like when you're unzipping, it makes it smooth. What we're using is a recycled, on the backpack and the tote, a recycled 600D nylon. Right. So it's, a, it's called Koja. CPH, it's actually a ripstop. It's like a, t a type of ripstop, okay. but it's not like the, the grid, right? It's not like that technical. All right, last thing but not least, your Topo Chico pocket right there. It blends. Beautiful. It blends. It's like, oh, what? I'm pulling a blank. This blends like Bob Ross. You ever seen that? You know, he's just in there just doing his things. There was hard paint and hard paint and then we just whoosh, whoosh. This can fit a Nalgene. It stretches like crazy, man. Yeah, look at that elastic. Dude, so sick. Thanks so much, Steven. You're welcome. You made a great bag. All right, so next up is the tote. We have our lovely designer, Audrey, here. She's French, which just means everything she does is a little bit better, I would say. <laughs> the tote kind of followed the whole line of product where the aim was to be super simple, okay. minimalist, and on the outside. So really worked on, you know, like, being a, having a super fresh construction, hiding the zippers, you know, making it totally. look super simple. That you have well. pockets and functionality on the outside, but you don't see it, right? You want it to keep it like understated. Ooh. And then on the inside, you have like all the magic, right? With like a bunch of functionality, lots of different pockets. Cause yeah, we really built it for creatives in general. So you want to put like all your tech product, but you, want, you don't want to show that you are, you know, carrying tech around. Totally. I feel like when you shop, you shop for the look and, of the bag first. And then if it's like super cool on the inside and practical, and, and like, yeah. Like and then you're like, oh yeah, I'm getting yeah. this. Yeah. So you have a bunch of pockets for your laptop, your bottles, um, oh, this is coffee kind of and one water. Right there, that little sneaky yeah, zipper. it's the laptop. It's the laptop one. See, sick. it's like it's pretty hidden here. Yeah. Um, and it's that one is that specific pocket is padded at the bottom on the okay, side, cool. so your, your laptop is protected. So you, and then here you can put all your accessories, so your it's really charger. It's structural too. Yeah, right? it just yeah. like sits nice and open. So I feel like totes can be like they're so flimsy that they kind of just collapse on yeah, themselves. And yeah, just a bunch of junk. No, really want it to like hold its shape, right? Yeah, so when no, you set great. it on the floor, it doesn't just like flop down. Totally. You, it still like get, keeps all your stuff together yeah. and magnet. Oh, uh, good. Uh -huh. <laughs> if we learn anything from AirPods, it's a good click, it goes a long way. Spend some time on the straps too, because we want it to be like simple and discreet, but also comfortable. Yep. So we chose the right width, and then they are also pretty thick, so they don't just like crunch up when you wear it, right? They sit like nice and flat on your shoulder, and so they hold shape pretty well. Um, so even with some weight, you're not, you know, like, it's not painful, you're just like sure. carrying it. So it's, it looks simple, but it's super functional and also technical because we're using all the same material as the backpack. So okay. waterproof, yes. super high quality materials. Yeah, it's got like that super good. Is it the recycled nylon as well? Yeah. Okay, great. Yeah. That's awesome. So cool. <laughs> Hey, hey, Joel. Yeah. Yo. What's going on? Wait. Wait. I'm in charge. Let's start with these guys. Um, so this is the tech organizer and the tech organizer uh, mini. So the idea here is after interviewing a bunch of people on the team, uh, getting a sense for what they liked and what they didn't like about different uh, tech pouches that they were using. Super common thread that we got was most tech pouches are too big. Like they don't end up using most of the stuff that they carry. So this is your essentials uh, in the uh, tech organizer mini. What are we calling it? Mini tech organizer. So it just has what you need. So small pocket for your mouse, uh, charger pocket, and then three cable pockets or AirPods, and then a little pencil loop there. I'd need this. Yeah. As a bundle, the mini can fit within the tech pouch. So, lives in there, close it up. 
Another nice thing about this is, like, say you're traveling, you can take just the mini with you and leave all your non-essentials uh, back at the hotel room. So if you're just like popping over to the coffee shop, just need to answer a few emails, uh, it's a good use for it. Tell me about this thing. The flap. The flap. Glad you noticed. <laughs> three cables on this side, three cables on this side, mouse on this side, mouse on that side, charger on this side, and then you have this zip pocket for larger items. So this is the same uh, fabric that's used on the backpacks and totes, but it's uh, half the thickness of thread. So still very durable, uh, waterproof fabric, but it's not quite as heavy. It comes with a little bit of padding, um, but not too much. We kept it pretty thin, um, just so it's flexible and compressible. Next guy, we got your battery organizer. Um, so this was really uh, an insight from our filmmakers and photographers on the team. Niles. So, Let's set the record straight. Niles. I made it. The idea with this, the biggest feature is you have your charged battery pocket and your dead battery pocket. And the nice thing about this is they share the same space. So one pocket is over the other. So as you use um, batteries, you take out the full and then you put it in the empty. Red is dead. So if you have, have these guys full, you're shooting, you pull out the full one and then you put it in the dead battery pocket. Yeah, the other pockets, you have your SD card slot here and then uh, multiple pockets for kind of anything you need. Uh, battery charger, SSDs, uh, power banks, that sort of thing. The camera insert. Kind of uh, building off of like the whole premise of the day packs and tote, actually. So we wanted to keep those as like uh, minimal, uh, for lack of a better, better word, normal, um, yeah. kind of like a Jansport. Yep. Um, a lot, like most of the people that we talk to, what they do is they take their camera and they throw it in their Jansport, maybe wrapped in a, in a sweater, maybe not. So we wanted to create like a minimal system for storing it in our backpack without turning our backpack into a camera bag. Small camera cube, half the width of the backpack. It fits a pretty big setup. Um, it'd be like a Canon 5D in an extra small lens. One of the unique features about this is we have these stretch pockets on the bottom of the dividers so that you can put, um, you can put like filters or batteries or film in those. Uh, yeah, things that you don't want just like uh, swimming around in the ICU. The padding on the flap is removable. So once you remove that, you can actually fold the flap up and stuff it in this bottom handle. You just swing it, swing it around your shoulder, open up the zipper, and then you have access to your camera. Just Boom. like that. Yeah, and it has grab handles on each side um, so that if you are throwing it in a different bag, it's always easy to grab it out of it. Another thing that we designed for is making sure the organizers fit nicely next to the ICU. So there's just enough space there so that you can load in your battery organizer and tech organizer, and they fit perfectly in the day pack. Sick. So that's with it. And there's a look of with every tech pouch, battery pouch, mini tech organizer, and camera insert. Wow, Ooh. that looks really good. Honestly, it feels good. 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 Yeah. yeah. Nice work, man. But the tote also works as a camera bag. So the ICU fits perfectly, is the same exact width as the tote bag, and you can rock this as your tote camera bag. Well, that is gonna wrap up this year's Kickstarter video. Beautiful products. We are so excited to be bringing these to the market. I literally am excited about this backpack specifically because I've been wanting just a really good teched out Jansport, but not teched out, if you know what I mean. To second what Caleb was saying, I feel like I have a million camera bags and I've been using those camera bags for everyday use and they're not, they're not everyday use bags. So this bag, fixes that issue for me. I will be using either the black one or the green one, I haven't decided. Nice, same. 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 See, and we're, you guys are leaving out the tote. I'm actually really excited about the tote 
because I can throw my camera in the bottom, but then also oh. like all my picnic stuff, totally. which oh, I nice. want for like days at the park. Or the beach. Or the beach. So uh, yeah, back the project, you guys. If you're interested, we would love your support. Uh, buy a bag if you need a new bag. And uh, tell your friends. Bye. We'll see you later. This is the LaCroix test. We are gonna see how many LaCroix fit in our 21 liter backpack. This is super important. You can also do it with beers if you wanna know. So the same number will apply. 10, 11, 21, 22, 23, 22. Also, best flavor. 26. Okay. 27. 28. 29. 30. 35. 30, that's, that's not close. <laughs> it's like I cheated. Oh, that was close. Wait, oh, yeah, that was two in the front. Nice. Okay. Wow, these zippers are strong. Yeah. <laughs> this bag is maxed. Okay. Uh, it, that's that's fair. That's fair game right that there. That is fair. Okay, here, we'll put it on. We'll put it on. 37? 37. Oh. oh, dude, that's so heavy. Ah. Oh. Oh. Julia, we're, we're rolling. Oh, we're filming. <laughs> are you serious? Yeah. yeah.